Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, today is resin day and I'm going to do a project. Since I have to do resin, I'm not a real huge fan, I have to admit. Um, there's just so many variables and there's so many cat hairs or pieces of dust or stuff that just happens. So I use these little containers. I get them from the dollar store. Um, I, I use, this is a 16 ounce cup. I'm gonna fill it up the whole way because I have four pieces. I usually like to do that. I'm gonna do it all at once. Um, this was gifted to me. Incredible Solutions Tabletop Epoxy Crystal Clear. And I've used it before and it is spectacular. It is really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the um, curing agent in first since it's um, a lot more liquidy. <clears throat> We're gonna fill it right up to eight ounces. If I can get the top off, there we go. Uh, eight ounces is, should have marked this. There it is, it's right there. Now I've taped the backs of all of these pieces and I have cleaned them all off and I've leveled the heck out of them. Let me see here. It's gotta be really precise, guys. Um, so I just do a little bit of time. And then, oh, okay, make sure that your top goes back on. So you have to mix it for three to four minutes. So I won't put you through all that. stirring oh good I got that on real nice and tight Put that away take my stir stick when you're stirring you got to make sure you get the sides and the bottom let's go back so you want to stir it for three minutes I'm gonna go put my timer on and I'll be back all right guys I'm all stirred up here now, if you see bubbles in it, especially when you first start stirring it, you're gonna see bubbles. Um, but don't worry about that. That's why we have this handy dandy torch to torch the bubbles out. So what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna put five ounces. These are 12 by 12s, so I'm gonna need five ounces on each. So, oh, eight ounces. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I pour it right in the center. Now, it's really important to have your pieces level. Yeah, that was about five ounces. And have them clean. This might not be enough. There we go. This poor woman, she's been waiting for her piece forever. And I have made several attempts at, um, I'm gonna actually put a little bit of clear in here and I'm gonna mix up some white. This is um, System 3 and it is a um, titanium white and you use this to make uh, make the waves. So I'm going to put a couple drops in there. You don't want to put too much. You can only have a 3 to 1 ratio or 10 to 1 ratio. It's a five to one ratio. This is way too much. But the reason I'm mixing this up is it needs to get tacky before I can use it. And I'm gonna put um, a drop of Liquitex acrylic, uh, acrylic ink in there. And then I'm going to put some alcohol ink because alcohol ink tends to make the real frothy. Um, it's pinata. This was Liquitex alcohol ink. This is pinata. And Blanco. And can I get it off? Yes. So just a. 
two drops, two small little drops. We're gonna mix this up and let it sit for a few so that it gets nice and tacky so we can work with it well. You're gonna need a heat gun to do this work. So there we go. All right, so I've double gloved my right hand. I said, oh, you know what? I do have another tile here. This one fell off my um, wall. I glued it back together. And now um, I'm gonna see if the resin will put it back together. So I just take my hand and I move it across. It feels good. It just does. It's nice and soft and gooey. I really love what resin does to a piece. Just gorgeous. And this tabletop resin is a UV resistant. It is not um, temperature, high temperature heat resistant. It is, um, but it is, it's really good for not yellowing. It's one of the best on the markets. I researched this particular brand. All right, I'm just going to make sure I've got all my corners and sides done because that tends to be a problem at times. Just gotta make sure everything's covered. There we go. Especially on the corners. All right, I'm gonna leave that for right now and I'm gonna torch it in a minute as soon as I get this one done. Whoa, Wilbur. Well, I hope it's still level. This is one I did recently. I really love this plate piece. It turned out really nice. And actually, I thought for sure it was gonna be a fail. So just goes to show you, you never know. So this has got a good coat on here. You can put one to two coats on, sometimes three if you really want it, you know. what I'm doing, I'm kind of scraping the sides with my glove to get the remainder off to make sure that the sides are covered. All right, and this one. This is one I did quite a while ago and I kept it because I love the design on it and uh, it fell off the wall. Operator error. <laughs> Okay. So the reason why I put two gloves on, you'll find out in just a second here. The work time on this is about 30 to 40 minutes. I take this glove off and I've got a fresh clean glove so I don't have to um, get my torch. You don't want to get too close because you want to burn it. But you do want to get all the bubbles. This piece has got, this is like the fourth, fourth try I've gotten this piece. First time I had like the teeniest, tiniest speck in it. And I didn't even hardly notice it. But then when I noticed it, it was like, oh, well, I can't, I can't sell this the way it is. So um, kind of a perfectionist that way. Now you want to get down and look real close. Look sideways. And if you have anything in it, a piece of dust, a piece of hair, Now's the time to get it out. Okay, that's good. And now after 15 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to torch it again. I see a bunch of bubbles right now. Whoa, a little bit. Let's 
So you wanna make sure you don't get any oils on it um, because that will create dents. You don't want dents. I'm looking, looking, looking. Don't see any dents. I don't see any bubbles, but we'll come back to that in a second. So now I'm gonna mix up my colors. I'm going to use mostly clear and then I'm going to put down some turquoise. All right, so I have decided I'm going to try to use the golden turquoise phthalo because I love this color in the fluid and then you just put a couple of drops to see if you like it and then you just stir it up. I use these little silicone cups. The reason I'm doing this with the, um, I want it to be, oh man. <laughs> I want it to be uh, transparent so that the waves will show up real nice. Just wanna stir it really good. Yeah, I'm liking this. I might put two coats on here. Oh man. See, a lot of times you, you won't be able to tell. That's the color right there. You can almost have to put it onto the side. But I'm, I've got a black background here, so it's not going to show up much. And I'll show you why. And do I want to add anything else in there? No. This is a clock. Make sure I primed it first. Now this hand has already got stuff on it, so I'm just gonna go ahead. And I taped, I taped the sides of the clock too. I'm gonna paint that instead. I just like the look better. You can never seem to get, oh wow, there's lots on here. Um, I can never seem to get the, the sides right because you have to keep coming back and, you know, doing this to the sides, doing this to the sides, and then it ne never really gets to be that consistency. Um, here we go. <clears throat> now, I haven't done, oops, I haven't done this clock. I mean, I've done this clock before, but not in, in the black like this. I have something special up my sleeve too. Taking the bubbles out. Really. Alright. I don't know if you guys can even see. I can't move it. I can't. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Okay, I can't move it. I'm sorry guys. I will um Make sure you guys get a close-up of this. So now I'm going to put down my colored, whoopsie, on the top. white and make, you know, first off, I'm going to torch. Oh, fingers crossed, guys. All right. Now you want to start off the side of it first. You don't need to use a lot. shoot. Should have gone off the other way. All right. Good enough, I think. <laughs> now, I have my, I'm going to take my um, glove off because I'm going to get, I don't want to get my um, 
Oh, jeez. My heat gun all messed up, all mucked up. Now, when you're doing this, you should have a respirator on. The reason I don't is because I, I, you wouldn't be able to hear me. So now I am going to actually torch it first. No, I want to torch it later. Um, you want to put it on high, the very highest, and high fan. So you want to um, warm up. Well, let's just wait till this warms up. Oh, my light tends to flicker whenever this is on. So no, you're not having, you're not tripping out. So I'm warming up the um, resin on this side of it. And then we're just going to push it up. And that's, that's it, guys. Ooh, be careful. These things are really hot. So, now, make sure I don't step on that. Um, I'm going to torch it right now because that tends to bring up some of the lacing as well. This may change as well. Now, let me see. I don't really care for the lines are kind of funky. I might do another line just to straighten this out. That's a little thick. You know what? I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh, see, now I'm getting some, that's what's happening. Getting some of the blue in there. So I'll just come in and do one more line. I can always do a second coat too, but I'm really liking this. Um, I wanted the turquoise to show up. So next time I could probably do a deeper turquoise if I do um, another coat. I kind of like this. And I'm gonna put some, um, this stuff is from Stuart Sempo. It's called Diamond Dust. I'm going to put this on the bottom. So it might not even matter that this isn't, but I have to wait until it sets up a bit. So I am now going to go back and check my other pieces and give another. are self-leveling so even if you pull something out of it you'll still it'll level
Now the piece that really matters is the one I'm doing for that baby. So I gotta make sure that's perfect. with my tweezers. Oh, see? This is what I mean. Now, I, I had this piece in my guest room. There's another one. And, um, because I thought it would be a better no dust zone, because the cats wouldn't be near it. There wouldn't be any cat hairs, and there were it always showed up three times. Um, yeah, I got another one there. I love this piece. <laughs> You need to um, wait until it's dry, and then you want to. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to sand it before you put another coat on, so that. So that the resin has something to adhere to. So very carefully. I'm gonna get my tent out and put it over this. It's raining out. Yeah, humidity is not a friend of resin. Oh, there's a bug. Are you kidding me? They followed me in here. Oh, it's like a little tiny gnat. Ah! See what I mean? <laughs> it is South Florida, so I can't complain too much, right? Eh? All right. Oh, and I see. Yeah, there's a lot of dust out here. Kitty hairs. All right. Uh, where's my. Where's... Oh, here it is. Oh, that's a kitty hair. Yeah, I might do another line of um, wave here once it um, dries. So the only thing left to do is clean up. I usually leave my stick in here and then let it, um, now I wouldn't have that much resin at the bottom of it, um, but then I would uh, wait till it um, gets really hard a few days later, it cures, and then you just pull the stick out and everything comes up with it too. So that's a, a trick that uh, few people know and we always share what we know so that others can learn because we've um, learned from others. It's, it's a, I love this community. It's really great. So here we go. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. And there we go. You have to make sure you have enough room Put your, your um, tents down too. All right, on that note, I'm gonna let you guys go for now and I'll come back once it has cured. Back in a flash. 